Hello and welcome to this short video with me, Alex Aprigliano. In this example, I'm going to show you how to create an exploded view using the spray gun assembly. To launch the exploded view command, go to the assembly tab and select exploded view. That will launch the explode property manager down the left hand side. Okay, now to start off my explode view, all I'm going to do is simply select a component, in this case the O-ring, and as I select the component, triad will appear which will allow me to drag that component along any of the standard axes. I'm going to grab hold of the green arrow, the Y axis, and just drag it along that. We have a, a ruler that appears next to our toolbar that lets us know roughly how far we've dragged it. If you want to be uh, really accurate with how far you've dragged it, you can fill in a value just here. The next component I want to explode is going to be this handle. Now, when I select that component, we can see our explode triad appear. And in this instance, I don't want to drag it along any of the standard axes, the X, Y, and Z. I actually want to drag it along the axis of the, the gun itself. So to do that, uh, if we right click on the uh, sphere in the center of the triad, we can align it to uh, an axis. Or to speed that process up, if you just alt drag the triad, you can snap it to the axis of a circular edge. So now that's in place, we'll just drag that component out to where we want it. Okay, we'll continue to do that with the other components. Now, when I select this component here, you can see that it selects several other components at the same time. Now, the reason that it does this is because that uh, is a subassembly. Now, if I want to select the individual parts of the subassembly, what I need to do is come down to my options and toggle on select subassemblies parts. This will allow me to select each component individually. Okay, so very quickly I've exploded all of those components. And if you want to make any changes to the location of those, it just simply select the explode step. Uh, and from there you have this little drag arrow where you can adjust the distance that you've exploded it out. Okay, now it's also possible to explode multiple components at the same time. Simply se select them from the graphics area or from the flyout tree. And with this turned on, what I'm going to do is turn on auto space components after drag. We'll align our triad to one of the axes and then just simply drag it out. Okay, now you can see from there that it actually explodes all of those components um, evenly. And again, if you want to adjust any of that, just simply click on the explode step and you can access all these arrows individually. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. We'll hit the green tick to complete that. And then uh, we'll have a look at how we toggle between the exploded state and the collapsed state. To do this, we can simply right click in the graphics area and go to collapse. Um, you'll also find that if you go to your configuration manager, Underneath your configuration, uh, you'll have your explode view with all its various steps underneath it. Um, and you can just simply right click on that and explode and collapse from there also. You'll also notice that we have the option to animate the explode and animate the collapse. So if we turn that on, you can see that it explodes those components in the order that we explode them now. That can be saved out straight to an AVI file. Now there is a slight problem with um, with my explode. If we play that again, you'll notice that that component there actually goes through my handle. So to adjust that, all we're going to do is reorder our explode steps. And we'll reorder explode step three before explode step two. Press OK, and now if we animate it, it 
you can see it now looks correct. Now in order to use this in a drawing, uh, we can bring it in, but we do need to do the explode line sketch first. To add an explode line sketch, again on the assembly toolbar, just simply click explode line sketch and select the components you want to connect together. So we're going to go from this component here. To this component here. Press OK and you can see that it generates our sketch and you'll also notice that it automatically hides the sketch behind components which is very nice. Okay so to use that exploded view in a drawing we simply create a new drawing And you'll notice in the view palette, it automatically creates an isometric exploded view for us, which we can just simply drag and drop on like so. We'll just change the display style of it. It is possible to take any view, bring it in and just toggle it to its exploded state like so. That brings us to the end of the demonstration. Thank you for watching.